the hole. <laughs> okay, so we are kind of I don't shake the thing. I have to. I have to. We are family of three. <laughs> we are family of three. My boyfriend and I, and then also our two year old son who is currently napping a tiny bit. Um, so, this is our entire living space. There's nothing except this. <laughs> this is everything we have. And uh, we would just like to show you around a bit. So, we start here in the entrance hall. Um, here's stairs leading up to the attic. Um, there's nothing up there. It's not insulated, so it's freaking cold in the winter. And there's also some rats running around in the evening. And, uh, yeah. You also see, as we show you around, that every tiny little inch of space is like used to store something because we're just trying to make the most <laughs> use of what we have. So for example, here we have uh, Asan's high chair standing while he's not eating. It doesn't normally look like this, it's normally standing there like being all chaotic. And there's also his stroller, for example. And uh, as you come over here, you can see we also saw all our... Uh, beans and uh, schnacksies there um, because this is our entire kitchen area so over here as you can see we have all the facilities one might need we have electric plate plate uh, we don't have an oven or a stove at the moment but it honestly it works out fine um, we also have a lovely sink um, and over here we store some plates and glasses, which I think we would even go as far to say that we have too many glasses. Like, who needs nine glasses? Not us. But yeah, up here we also store all our, uh, all our other food things, I don't know. <laughs> we in any case just drink out of this. Out of this uh, glass here that clearly needs to be washed. Yeah, not this. This. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, then it leads us into the main living space. Um, this is the bedroom. Yeah. Um, this is a massive bed. It's probably like a king size bed. And we co sleep with our son, who is currently sleeping there behind the little dinosaur because we want to protect him from the pedophiles on the internet. And uh, I know it's not very conventional to practice co-sleeping with your child, but it really works for us, especially with the space we have. And then over here, we also have some storage for all the random things. There's really random things in here and also like diapers and stuff. And then there at the bottom of the table, we have all the toys. <laughs> Do you want to talk a bit about the toys? Come. <laughs> So here, as you can see, are some old cars for me, but no, it's the Zones cars. I'm over them. <laughs> You're finally over it. <laughs> oh yeah. And we also have some books and stuff down there. I oh, yeah. <laughs> You're just looking there like a little dinosaur. So let me introduce you. Right behind this door, there's the bathroom. Right behind this door is the garden. Yes. Pure nature. Right behind this door <laughs> are all the foods you can imagine. Jeez, it looks like we drink a lo lot of alcohol. <laughs> this wine is honestly disgusting. Yes, we don't even drink alcohol. <laughs> but yes, um... It's even really nice that we have a door that goes out into a garden. Yeah. And, and, and then... This is <laughs> my working space. Where I... <laughs> play computer or... Do that stuff like... Very important business things. Important <laughs> stuff. And there's our TV. Um, yes, we also have like an extra mattress there on the floor, but as you can see, for example, the mattress here is, I mean the mattress, the carpet here is already really stained because it's also quite old. 
it looks even more stained on camera than it does in real life. That looks so bad. And uh, there's life. Um, ah, bed stuff, our bed sheets, for example, don't match at all. Also, everything we have in here, we're basically reusing. Yeah. Um, everything that we have. Uh, it's either second hand or like still from my boyfriend's parents and stuff, but we're making the most use out of what we have. What are you doing with the camera? I don't know. And then this space here we often use for our little dance parties uh, or to make yoga here and stuff. It's really nice. And I also had uh, recently some pretty nice dates on the carpet. Should I show the very romantic little light? This is perfect for any date. If you would lift the mattress here <laughs> on the ground that it lays here, wait, wait, wait. I will show. You. And then, and then, you know, just just insert your partner here, and then you would just have a very romantic little light there. It's quite great. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. And then the only other thing that we haven't talked about is how much closet space we have, which I guess really saves our asses in this room because otherwise it would have been really hard. In the closet over that side we have all the clothes, all the towels, anything that you can imagine. And then in the middle there's also another desk, but I don't even think there's something in the desk. It's just a big TV which <laughs> doesn't work at the moment, yeah, so but TV. I'm almost about to fix it. Yeah, and also video games and stuff, and then on that side it's just used for storage, like pure storage, stuff that we don't use. And yeah, that's already everything. That's really already everything. But um, I think the important thing that we also want to talk about, why we wanted to make the video is that we want to show that you don't need much to be happy. And you especially don't need much to raise a child <laughs> and to give it everything that it needs. Like our son, for example, gets all the love he could possibly want. And we just try to do the best that we can, even if we are not in the best financial situation, especially as young parents. So I think it's also important to normalize not having much. Like, it's even not about minimalism, it's just about anti-consumerism. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this, to the random person that even decides to watch this video on YouTube, um, I really hope that you are happy and I really hope that you decide to do something in life that makes you happy. And also, I just want to mention, like I think it's also really important that we say, um, even though this in Western culture is maybe not much, in relationship to the rest of the world, I think it's just so great what we have. We have so much, like, what more could we ask for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's everything. That's everything. <laughs> Do you have anything to add, babe? I just wanted to add that, yeah, I lived here for like a few years alone in this room and. Um, I don't even think there's so much difference now that we are free. It is, it is yeah. quite great. Yeah, when we moved in here together, um, yeah, this one was already one year old, and there was honestly more stuff in here then <laughs> than there is now. I guess um, I, I'm also just the whole time like, no, you know, if we have less things, then there's also less things to pick up and to take care of. And I know what we have like might seem a lot in this room, but I guess in this is really all we own, it's it's not too bad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay.